Hey man, let me show you how you can use a reference track to improve your next mix and how Ozone 9 makes it easy. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com and you know that this channel is all about helping you to record and mix better and faster. Let's head over to sweetwater.com, today's sponsor for this video, and take a look at the Ozone 9. All right, y'all, so I'm on Sweetwater.com looking at the Isotope Ozone 9 Advanced Master and Software Suite. And yes, it is a suite because even though it's one plugin, it has so many different modules in it that it feels like about 10, 20 different plugins. It's so versatile that you can use it during your mastering phase, of course, but it works just as well while you're mixing, okay? Let's go down and scroll down Sweetwater a little bit. You see that if you do buy this from Sweetwater, Use my affiliate link down in the description. It won't cost you a dollar extra, none, okay? It'll work with Mac and Windows. It's delivered in minutes. One of my favorite features is the low-end focus. Man, that absolutely really makes your punch come through of that bottom end. We got tonal balance control that makes mastering even easier, but I'm gonna read all of these advanced features that we have down here. So comprehensive mastering software suite with 16 modules. So yeah, I was saying like 10, they actually have 16 different modules. So imagine 16 different plugins wrapped into one interface there. Master rebalance corrects the levels of individual instruments in a stereo file. What? So you basically have mastering without you having to do anything. It's remixing the record for you. Wow. Low-end focus adjusts the contrast and definition of low frequencies. I challenge you all to take a mix that you've done, load it up in Ozone 9, pop that low-end focus on there, and see if it helps to accentuate your low-end. It really does some tricks. Tonal balance control analyzes and optimizes your master. Seamless integration with the Isotope plugins via Relay. Master Assistant uses your audio sonic profile to get you a logical starting point. Low-key, that's a, a secret that I've been using, man. It actually helps you to start off with your master after you get done mixing. It'll analyze everything in that mix and come up with a nice mastering chain for you. It's actually kind of tight. Don't tell nobody, though. <laughs> Choose from a modern or vintage vibe with loudness targets for CD and streaming. Overhauled match EQ with better preset workflow, reference track, matching, and more. Vintage modules for adding warmth, grit, and vibe. Imager modules includes powerful multi-band controls and improved stereoized mode. Works as a single plugin, as individual component plugins, or even stand alone. This is a modern, resizable interface, man. Again, this thing is super dope, super powerful, and I use the Isotope Ozone 9 on pretty much every mix that I do. So, Let's just jump into my session and see how I'm going to be using it today. Hey man, let me be your guide to getting Pro Tools certified. Whether you're brand new to Pro Tools or if you've been using the software for years, this course will get you the skills you need to demonstrate a fundamental competency in mixing and editing in Pro Tools. Having a Pro Tools certification provides real life tangible benefits and allows you to stand out on your resume and from your peers in the industry. Registration is open now and space is very limited. So don't wait, let's get certified. All right, cool. So what I'm working with now is a strut pop session, the same strut pop session that we've been working with in the first two parts of this video. If you haven't checked out part one and part two yet, please go hit the links down in the description. Watch part one where I set up for this session, part two where I actually have this recording session, and then part three now, I'm gonna be working on a few mixing techniques in this same exact session. Let me say, I'm not a, a strut pop expert by any mean so for me it was important to actually grab a reference track that's going to help me to know exactly where i need to be within this realm and this style of music okay ozone 9 makes it very very easy for you to upload your references so again we got a bunch of different modules that we could add they have those 16 different modules i'm just going to start off because i'm still in the mixing phase i have a rough mix going on but i want to reference it to a strut pop song before i get too far so i'm going to go ahead and click on the reference module and you can add your reference. You can add any audio file here. So I just found a popular reference song online that I'm gonna load up here. Some of y'all might know this. As it's uploading, 
It's going to just take a few seconds to load up. But once it does, I love how it automatically kind of breaks the song up into different sections that will loop. So obviously, when I'm doing my reference, I probably want to be referencing like the hook or the chorus or something that's a lot of stuff happening, not necessarily the intro or something like that, right? So I would probably go to this big meaty part of the song. We even have the ability to adjust the level, which is very crucial when we are referencing, especially if we haven't already mastered the work that we're working on. It's good to actually bump this down a little bit in level so that we can actually hear the changes in the mix besides the loudness change when we're going from our mix to a louder reference mix that's been mastered, okay? So I am doing a little bit of processing on this master um, already, just a couple of limiters, but we can mix through that for today. And they do have this limiter here that I'm going to actually turn off. I don't, I'm going to bring that threshold all the way up so that that's not even working for us. You know what? We can just turn it off altogether or even remove that module out of the sequence. The EQ is not going to be an effect either. We're strictly right now in this point going to be using this as our reference. So how do we do that? Well, I can play my song. And then as soon as I hit this reference button, this little, uh, whatever that is, the little eye next to the reference, and I'll put that in, then I'll be listening to the reference and it'll be quick for me to go back and forth between my reference. Now, what are some things that I'm looking for within a reference? That's a good question. <laughs> One of the things I'm looking for is the effects for this style of music. What type of effects are typical for this style of music? Now, of course, I'm going to want to create my own and bring my own personality to this, but Using uh, this reference song that has like damn near 50 million views on YouTube as a starting point is going to be smart, especially if I haven't worked in this style of music before. Next, I'm going to be looking for the tonal balance of things. And actually, um, I, Ozone offers a tonal balance plugin too that lets us uh, uh, actually see how the frequency spectrum lines up against our reference. We don't necessarily need to do that today. But that that is something that I'm going to be listening for. How loud is the low end or how loud are those vocals? Or where should the hi hats and stuff be sitting at? Right. That's what I'm listening for. Also, the width of the mix and the overall feeling and vibe and processing of the vocals. I'm going to be listening for all that as I go back and forth between my mix and the reference. Let's take a look. I'm going to start off playing a portion of my mix and then we'll go over to the reference. Hey, my lifestyle designer. Okay, <laughs> so obviously I feel like we're not we're not too far off uh, uh, with the vibe, the feeling is almost there. Let's let's listen again. My and you can even see when I'm playing it, take a look at this uh, frequency analyzer. They overlay the reference on top of my mix that I'm doing. So you can actually see both of the uh, frequency spectrums at the same time. Let's go. My lifestyle designer. Yes, come on. Everybody on the floor. That's Everybody that reference. On the floor. Ain't gonna see no one finer. G -bon -G, Gucci. And honestly, the frequency spectrum seems pretty damn close uh, to the rough mix that I have. All I'm saying is that uh, I have a few more peaks on certain frequencies because this hasn't been mastered and is not uh, uh, limited as as much as this reference is. All right. So let me just listen for any key changes that I might want to make. Okay, dolls, y'all know what time it is. Come on. Everybody on the floor. Everybody on the floor. Now I all right, cool. So one thing I'm picking up is a, a big spacious reverb. So let's just close this for a second. I'm going to start off by getting that reverb working with this beginning section of the song, this lead vocal. I step on the scene, everybody checking for me. Okay, so we got one reverb on there that I actually like, but I want to add another reverb. Which, which reverb is this doing? Okay, so this is doing the hall. In addition to that hall, let's add a plate reverb as well. So I'm just going to click right on the send selector, choose the send out to a new track. And go to a plate. Move this down next to my other effects here. For this plate reverb, you know what? Let's just use the D-verb because I really like to show y'all that 
it you could deverb is actually a great little plug in for reverb but we have to do some stuff with it i'm gonna actually go ahead and put an eq in front of that and eh, not that eq <laughs> i'm gonna put an eq in front of that it doesn't really matter which eq you use i just like this one better okay now i'm gonna roll off the lows and roll off the highs so that this reverb sounds a little more manageable Let's turn this up and see where we at at a starting point. I step on the scene, everybody checking for me. They want to ride my way, want to catch this ray, because I look like money. I step on the scene, everybody checking for me. Okay, so that's definitely more reverb. Let's hear the difference between that and our reference. Hey, dolls, y'all know what time it is. Come on, everybody on the floor, everybody. Way. Okay. That's because I don't have this going to the right output. My plate. We were hearing them both. Here we go. Let's hear it. I step on the scene. Everybody checking. Body on the floor. Everybody on the floor. Okay. So with that reverb, I'm actually hearing that some of the, more of the highs are rolled off on there. And I'm going to back this plate down some. Let's uh, mix it in. Dolls, y'all know what time it is. Come on. Everybody on the floor. They want to ride my way. Want to catch this rave because I look like money. Yeah, I think we coming closer with that reverb. I'm going to actually shorten that reverb time up a little bit. And I'm going to use my distressor compressor to actually compress this vocal a little bit tighter. Let's uh, listen. I step on the scene. Everybody checking for me. They want to ride my way. Want to catch this rave because I look I step on the scene, everybody checking for me. They want to ride my wave, want to catch this rave. I step on the scene, everybody checking for me. They want to ride my wave, want to catch this rave. Okay, let's hear what we got on our reference. Okay, dolls, y'all know what time it is. Come on, everybody checking for me. They want to ride my wave. On the floor, now I want you to stretch out those arms. Because I look like money. Ah, uh, yeah, we getting there, we getting there. I step on the scene, everybody checking for me. They want to ride my wave, want to catch this rave. All right, I think I want to add some saturation to this reverb. Let's see, it's a good saturation plug-in. Mm, something simple, let's go with Decapitator. This is a cool little toy I like here. Yeah. I step on the scene, everybody checking for me. They want to ride my wave, want to catch this rave. Cause I yeah, I, I'm feeling that uh, a lot more, but now I can back off some of that sin level. I step on the scene, everybody checking for me. They want to ride my wave, want to catch this rave. Cause I look like money. <laughs> Drip, dripping all on me. Cool. I can actually copy some of these effects right over to this next track. I step on the scene, everybody checking for me. They want to ride my wave, want to catch this rave, because I look like money. Huh. Drip, dripping all on me. All right, cool. Now I'm going to go to my reference again and find a spot where he has like some background vocals and see how they uh, treated those. Let's. Just click that reference button and listen. Bitch, sis, left, right, left, right, left with a spin, bitch. Where's my sash and crown? Cause I win, bitch. I'm so fab, I'm gone with the win, bitch. Y'all six, seven, eight, nines, I'm a ten, bitch. Girl. All right, cool. I'm gonna work with just a couple pairs of these at a time. My lifestyle. I'm burnt, man. Yeah. And I think I'm, I'm gonna start off with the similar compression on this. My lifestyle. Maybe compress my it a little harder. And then for these backgrounds, I like to roll off a little more lows. My yeah, maybe uh, even filter out some of those highs. And then I'm going to copy these plugins to the, uh, to the other uh, little stack there that's doing the same thing, essentially. My Let's hear that with the lead. Oh, uh, yeah. I think I now want to add some multi-band compression on here or i'll just do a dynamic eq and kind of dip out some of this high mid range right about the uh two to three k area i just want to get some of that out of there My lifestyle designer. 
Yeah, I like that. And let's turn these down. My lifestyle designer. Red lips, black eyeliner. Oh, yeah. Now let's bring in our other pair. My lifestyle designer. For these, I probably won't compress them as much, but I will roll off a little bit more of the lows. Okay. My lifestyle designer. Oh man, let's compare that to our reference a little bit. <laughs> you feel me though? You feel me though. So using a reference can help us to match the energy, the emotion, and even the tone of another mix is so useful in a few scenarios a like this one i don't have much experience mixing this style of music but i can gain from a popular reference a lot of ideas b if you are working in an environment that you just don't trust the speakers you don't trust that room use a reference match how that reference sounds in that room in terms of tonal balance and frequencies all right um, and you can even get some creative ideas by using a reference in the Isotope Ozone 9. Just makes it so easy. I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com. If you want to see me work more with the Isotope Ozone 9 and check out some more dope stuff that I love to do with it, drop down in the comments to let me know. I love to explore this plugin a little bit more with y'all. Be dope.